What's going on YouTube? Thanks for tuning into the channel. Welcome to Oso oh Simplified. Coming to you with a video here about success is not a straight line, action and adjustment. As always, like, comment, subscribe, dislike, leave negative comments, any feedback will do. Let's jump into this one. And as you know, this is all coming from you generally things that are like going on in my head, in my life that I know other people have to be going through that I will impart to you and kind of do a little bit of a brain dump for you. So let's jump into this one. The first point here is that good and bad times never last. So both, both the good and both the bad never last. Everything is temporary as my mom would say to me growing up. Um, but with this, uh, Robert Greene had a very good point, and I believe it's in the 50th law about this. And basically what he says is in the good times, that's when you have to be most vigilant. And then the, the bad times, I forgot the word to use, but we'll use patient, is when you should be the most patient or inspired because of what I just said. So when it's, the times are good, you have to know that this is not going to last. So you need to be more vigilant to make sure that when they don't last, that you're in a good position. When you're in the bad times, once again, you need to know that these are not gonna last and if you keep pushing through, eventually it'll be good times and you just need to be patient and just keep moving with inspired action to reach the good times so you're in good position for it. So that was one of those things that really made a lot of sense to me that I think in general, we're kind of uh, set up the opposite, that we react to our current environment. So if things are going bad, we actually exacerbate the fact by acting and thinking in a negative manner that is not going to you know align things to move in a good trajectory and then when things are good we generally you know let off the reins and think you know things are like this you know i could spend up all my money i could you know take all the liberties as if the struggle that i just overcame would never come back so that's really the first part of the first part. And also understanding that in good and bad times, you're going to feel good and bad. At the at the, the top of what I've ever felt and the bottom of whatever I felt, I've had good and bad days in terms of like my standing. In my hardest moments in my life, um, I've had good and bad days. I would definitely say last year was a doozy and a half. Um, and there was days I woke up feeling inspired and ready to take on the world. And there was days I woke up you know, negative thinking that the world was gonna crush me. And both those times, both those feelings fleeted, but what didn't fleet was the actions and things that I did during that time. And that's also another reason why you need to be vigilant in the good times, be inspired and uh, patient in the bad times, that as long as you keep taking the action, that will remain. Your feelings are gonna be transient and are gonna change throughout time. And a lot of the time, a lot of what we think about is a lot of the future. We always think about the future in terms of what we want, how we want it to turn out, when really the only time you can ever act is in the present. And I've been listening to a lot of like Eckhart Tolle or Eckhart Tolle, not exactly 100% sure how you pronounce his name. Uh, he has that book, The Power of Now. And a lot of what he talks about is that we're in this, um, you know, recurring state of not being in the now. We're constantly thinking of the future, reliving the past, anticipating the future based on the past instead of staying in the present moment. Now, I don't want this to be, you know, all manifestation type of video like some of my other videos. Um, so I'm gonna stick really towards like the success is aligned, but do understand that that also goes into the manifestation of things like the law of assumption and just really just understanding that the more you can put your headspace into the end desire goal that you have, the more that your actions can become that. And within that, when you're going through those bad times, if you're patient and still keep your eye on the vision, eye on the goal, all of the, the headway you make when the good times are gonna do come, you'll have all of that to bank on and to you know cash out, if you will, to use a metaphor, all of those deposits you put in during the bad times and same thing with the good times during the good times if you were good with the good things you had in the good times and prepared things when things are bad they're not going to be as bad because you still have remains of the things that you built while things were good so that's really it for the first one is just really understanding 
that good time and the bad times never last. You really want to stay involved in the present moment and just acting with that end desire in mind during the present moment and then everything else will work out on its own. The next piece here is really about not getting stuck in your head. So everybody's heard the term paralysis by analysis. Now generally when we're looking to get started on something, that's the first hardest part. The next hardest part is day two. Um, or actually it might actually be the other way around. But regardless, those are the, the main issues. So in the beginning of something, generally we like to analyze, come up with all of these conscriptions and um, you know, manuscripts and protocols and orders and understand, you know, the relationship of everything, every contingency uh, we need to know before we get started or start acting. Now, what that is, is paralysis by analysis. You are looking at something so much that you're becoming paralyzed. And it actually is also Occam's razor that the more you know something, the more you know you don't know. So a lot of times, like the way I learned how to ride a bike, I didn't really have anybody teach me. I grabbed a two-wheeler on some grass and just started trying to pedal it. Now, if I really learned everything about aerodynamics, balance, all these other things, I would have souped up riding the bicycle as to be some like unapproachable feat. But really, it's just riding a bicycle. But because I didn't know that much when I got started, I was able to get started and keep trying until I figured it out. And actually, now that I'm on this thought, this is a great metaphor for everything that I'm trying to say. So once you actually get started, you run into the second big roadblock. The second big roadblock is day two. I think I got that from Brene Brown, but don't quote me on that one. But day two, what this idea is, is that you, know, you made this idea that you're gonna do something. You do it one day. Now you have to go and do it again. But your identity has not really shifted into the person that does this all the time. Like It's nothing for me to go to the gym. I can imagine for somebody that doesn't know much about going to the gym or working out, the second day of working out is probably more intimidating because you're a little bit sore from the first day. And you're realizing you're going to have to do this all the time. You're realizing that there might be some additional decisions you're going to make to make this something you can keep doing. Now, once again, you don't want to get caught in this thought loop. And this is what happens a lot to a lot of people for one of two reasons. One, it's just like the task itself is just very complex and it can be a combination. Or you didn't get the results you wanted on day one. So using that workout analogy, it's not like your body changed after day one. Um, it's not like you got way stronger after day one. So you have to push yourself to go on day two with just the faith that your consistent action is going to lead to something. Now, let's say, you know, one day, you know, you're increasing your weights, like very quickly. Like when you first start going to the gym, your body will respond immediately and kind of hit, like start going up very quickly compared to somebody who goes every day. Like if I go to the gym seven days a week, I mean, I guess I could change my diet and everything, but lack of a better term, my body's not gonna change that much compared to somebody who's never been to the gym because my body, I've already kind of compounded everything down to like what it's gonna look like. But you're going to the gym, you're getting all these returns in terms of like your gains or whatever your weight loss, gaining weight, etc. But then at a certain point, you stop getting power, you stop gaining strength. You, you kind of hit a plateau on your weight that like now you're at a you know calorie count that you'd have to go pretty low to keep losing it or you're going to need to maintain this body weight for a few weeks then start cutting again so your body can get to its set point but i digress with those specifics the idea is that you didn't get the results you want they're not happening fast you want and it's going to kind of get you slightly discouraged that is something that i think is the hardest part to overcome and i think that's what leaves most people in their tracks and to be honest from my own personal perspective is what is leading me to this video is that you know i'll just kind of bring that in right now it's like thinking about my channel now i had two con two consecutive videos that did over 100 views then i did one that got three views created a new channel did a video got zero views in a week so i'm like something's not right now this could easily knock me off and say you know this ain't for me i'm not gonna do this or I'm gonna just keep thinking and thinking like, well, what is it, what is it? But really the only way I got feedback was by making the action. That's what actually got me the feedback to step number two. Now this is the part that a lot of people forget and I made a video about the gap in the game before 
that when you keep thinking about the gap of where you want to go to and how far you are instead of the gain of how far you've chosen it's like i hadn't had any especially that wasn't based on a book review wasn't based on another con like another already established concept like these are 100 views based on something that was just coming from my head i'm just the picture you know maybe america because it was about the american dream was in there but i digress it wasn't like a book it wasn't like another content creator it wasn't a review um i built that but i never had those i didn't have two never had two consecutive hundred view videos now with that being said i get negative feedback i'm not going to jump off i'm going to focus on the gain that okay i created two things that kind of worked maybe i want to go down that path maybe i want to put that into the new channel maybe i have to re i re um idealize what i'm going to do but i'm going to make another action i'm going to post this next video and see how this responds because you want to be in a thought action thought action type of loop not in a thought get stuck loop where it's like you're just thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking and over and over again because thinking is a very crucial part of creation but the action at least at this point maybe we come up with technology that can change that in the future but at this point you have to physically act upon the universe in some kind of capacity to allow for what you're thinking about to be created so you have to get back to that action point. And a lot of times we, we really want to break down the how and how is it going to work and what path am I going to take and how I'm going to do this. And the next point I'm going to get a little bit deeper into like the paths and everything. But you have to understand that I think Steve Jobs said you can only connect the dots going backwards. When I look at my life and the trajectory and even what I'm doing right now, which a lot of the stuff I'm doing right now is kind of crazy. I could not have told you I was going to do this in this time frame definitely not at 20, um, 32, definitely not at 25, but a lot of this stuff has just slowly but surely changed over time and I've gotten to this point and now when I look back, hindsight's 2020, I can see how this all lined up and even when this takes off and everything, I'm going to see how it all lines up and how all my thoughts kind of came together, but it wasn't really something that from the backwards motion, I was really able to um foresee is just the dots connect backwards and that's really just the faith that i move on day to day so this last point here is really about action and adjustment so that's kind of the last part of the title of the video that really that's what life is going to be like all the time is that you're going to make an action and an adjustment now i guess i could have added make set a goal set a target set a destination but if you know anything about plane travel if you know anything about rocket travel at any given point, if you were to stop and then use that its trajectory to its like logical conclusion, the rocket would not hit for 99%, I think it's 99.9 .9 actually, percent of the travel, it's actually off course. It just gets off course, redirects, gets off course, redirects, gets off course, redirects, gets off course, redirects. And in anything in life, there really aren't many, many, I don't really observe almost any, but there aren't many straight lines in the universe in general, even though we think in straight lines. We think in bar graphs. We think in things. But like, I fixed up this house, painted all this stuff, put all the floorboards in. I would I put a bunch of sheetrock in, into the sheetrock, the whole kitchen and dining room um, and bathroom. And I will tell you for a fact, none of the walls are straight. None of the walls are plumb. Now my house was built in the 50s, so maybe over time things settle, but. I'm saying even in a new build, things are not straight. Things are not as, is like all like an optical illusion. And what you have to do using this construction example is you kind of got to just make it work, make it fit. But if I sat there worrying about the fact that this wall is slightly crooked and that wall is slightly crooked and I don't know how I'm going to figure it out, I would have never had the sheetrock up. But I put the sheetrock up, I made the corner. I looked at the corner bead and when I got to the corner, I figured it out, figured out how I had to do it. When I got to the part where, you know, I wasn't sure how, how the molding was going to interact with the, the door molding that I didn't want to rip off. I got to the perspective, then I got there and then I figured it out. Now I'm not saying you don't want to plan, you don't want to think things through, but you don't want it to let you, to, to hinder you from taking action because action is the only way you're going to get the feedback for how you're going to take the next step, not overthinking it. Yeah, it's really not about overthinking it. And you can even take this metaphor to even go to walking. If you look at the definition of walking, it's controlled falling. That basically you're falling and you catch yourself. And you can keep catching yourself and move forward. 
And really at the end of the day, what I want to leave you with is that the how is not as important as where you're going. I really kind of view my life almost like I'm trapped in a forest with a bunch of trees, can barely see. I cannot see if I look back really. Like I can't see, I can kind of see the, the ground I've covered. You know, maybe there's a light in the distance uh, back behind me too that kind of shows you some of the ground I covered. But all I see is just the, 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 the light to the town and I'm just walking in that direction. Now, if I run into a boulder, I might have to walk around it. If I find a stream, I might have to create a bridge or swim across it. Uh, if I find a, 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 a mountain, I might have to climb it. If I find a valley, I might have to go under it. You know, if I find a line, I might have to run around it or, you know, you, you know, trick it and get there. But I'm going to cross that bridge as I get there. You know, no pun intended, because that kind of even falls with the metaphor I'm using. I'm going to cross that bridge when I get there. I'm not going to over hype or over analyze the situation at that point and no matter what encounters what i encounter i know i'm going to get around it because i know where i'm going that's the main thing you just need to know where you're going and be taking the action to get there you'll make the adjustments as the adjustments need to be made as long as you keep moving forward because in order to keep moving forward you got to make adjustments and just understanding that's a part of life and not letting it discourage you so that's really it for this one I got to make a lot of adjustments for myself, definitely with this YouTube strategy. Going to have some products coming out very soon. Probably a little fitness related. I know this channel is not 100% fitness related, but if you're interested, I'm going to, you know, put the commercials and advertisements on this channel as well, as well as the links. So you can find all that when I do have that coming out. I have a program, um, jump rope, uh, pre-workout, kettlebell and electrolytes are kind of the first things that I really want to get out there. Um, they're things I use every day um, that has really got me to where I am in, in from a physical standpoint, which I do think connects to your mental standpoint. But definitely want to offer that to you guys, but did want to give you some background of where these thoughts are coming from. I'm going to adjust on my strategy, you know, had some successes. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, um, get more views on this one too. Uh, if you like the content, like, comment, subscribe. If you didn't like the content, you could dislike, leave some negative comments. Any feedback will do because I'm taking action. And until next time, peace. Out.